Okay, what's going on everybody? It's me, the Great Heisman here. Today, gonna be watching the Poland vs. the Chile game, and sorry about my voice, I've just been very sick for the past four days, been trying to get my health back to normal, so that's why my voice is a bit different, but, um, gonna do the reaction video nonetheless. Uh, unfortunately, Glick is out with an injury, with a shoulder injury. He injured his shoulder while trying to do a bicycle kick. I don't know why he would even bother trying to practice doing a bicycle kick when you're one week away from the biggest game of your life which is the FIFA World Cup, so not having him in defense will suck. I don't know who's going to replace him, but um, this game will be a test to see how our defense is going to be like at the World Cup, so we're going to see what happens. What a long pass to Lewandowski. That was a good pass, but I don't know why Lewandowski was trying to score from a tight angle right there. He should have just dribbled around the player and shot past the goalkeeper like that. Why Why did he take the shot from the side angle? I, I don't know why he did that, but man, that was a chance for Poland to be up 1-0, but let's see what happens. It's only like the second minute. So I've noticed that Poland is going against Chile's B team because Chile are not playing Alexis Sanchez or Claudio Bravo or Arturo Vidal or Eduardo Vargas, so... Yeah, this is going to be the ultimate test for our defense against Chile's B team. I think that we are capable of beating Chile's B team, but the defense made a big error right there. We almost conceded right there, but Chesney was able to stop it. But our defense can't be making mistakes like that in the World Cup, dude. Because if we just keep making defensive errors like that, then we're not going to get out of the group stage. Because I want to see us at least get out of the group stage, but that's going to be very tough. And, uh... Not gonna lie, it was very shocking to see Chile not qualify for the World Cup. I thought they were gonna qualify for the World Cup after winning back-to-back -back Copa America titles. But, uh, looks like they're not gonna be in the World Cup. Very well corner kick taken by Poland, but Krahoviak just heads that wide of the net. I thought it was gonna be 1-0 for Poland there for a second. Oh my god. We hit Chile on the counter-attack, but Krahoviak's effort just goes wide of the net. Man, should be 1-0 for Poland, but... It is what it is. Well, so far Poland had two chances to score, but they just couldn't get the ball in the net for some reason. And Chesney with the save. Uh, I think that Chesney's likely going to be Poland's starting goalkeeper for the World Cup. That's how we do it, baby. Robert Lewandowski with the finish. My favorite soccer player in the entire world, Robert Lewandowski. That's my man right there. Robert Lewandowski, number nine. The best number nine on the planet. Man, what a freaking finish. That was just an amazing finish by Lewandowski. Oh my god, look at that. Poland, they're playing well defensively. They're pressing Chile. They steal the ball from Chile. And Lewandowski with the finish with his left foot. Look at that. What a finish by Robert Lewandowski. And it's 2-0 for Poland from Zielinski with the goal. Look at that. Poland is just doing amazing on the uh, counterattacks against Chile. Look at that. They're able to win the ball back from Chile and score... From there, Groszycki with the pass to Zielinski. Man, if Poland can play like that at the World Cup, then I think Poland have a chance at just making even the World Cup final and possibly even winning the World Cup if they can play like that, how they're playing against Chile right now. High pressing, beautiful finishing, able to defend well. And uh, this is just amazing. Wow, 2-0 against a team like Chile. But, you know, we're playing against Chile's B team. But uh, I'm hoping that this game is going to give us confidence in the uh, World Cup. So, 2-0. Well, that was weird. Uh, Poland made another defensive error. Well, Pazdan tried to deflect the ball. He tried to kick the ball away, but the ball just deflected off of a Chile player. But Chile missed, and we're still up 2-0. Oh, my God, and there's the goal. Jesus Christ. Okay, thought we were going to get a clean sheet, but it looks like we won't. We're still winning 2-1. to one. Well, Chile score on a header. And, uh, pff, yeah, man, Poland cannot be doing stuff like that. Don't know what Poland's doing right there, but um, they conceded. Let's see what happened. Throw in a uh, Chile player. He crosses the ball into the box, and he uh, heads that. Okay, that was a good header, but Chesney should have gone off his line to collect the cross. I don't know why Chesney was just standing there. If I was Chesney, I would have come off the line to collect the cross. Any good goalkeeper would have come off the line to collect the cross. So the thing about Poland is that they should be up 3-1, to one, but unfortunately Lewandowski's header just went wide of the net. But the thing about Poland is that they're giving away the ball way too much against Chile, and they're making way too many defensive errors. They cannot be doing that, especially in the World Cup. So luckily this is only an international friendly game.
but they need to work on their defense and they should be doing a 4-4-2 formation. I don't know why they're doing three in the back, but it's just an international friendly game. Well, what can I say? Second goal by Chile was absolutely fantastic, but Poland's defense has a lot of work to do, man. I mean, this the way the how Poland's defense are playing right now is just absolutely horrendous. You know, they can't even clear the ball properly. I mean, they're just making too many errors, man. They had a 2-0 lead, and they blew it. This isn't the first time I saw Poland blow a 2-0 lead. I've seen them blow a lead like that plenty of times, but the second goal by Chile, like how I said before, there was nothing you could have done about that. That goal was just fantastic, but, man, I better not see a uh, four. I think he's. I think Valka's playing a four two or three four three two one formation. I have no clue, but playing three in the back is not really a good idea. I don't know why on earth he's doing that. We better not. I better not see a four. I better see a four four two formation in the World Cup. I better not see them play three in the back at the World Cup because that's not Pishtek's strength. Okay, Pishtek should be playing as a right back. Why is he trying to make a Pishtek a center back? I, I don't know why. Pishtek is clearly a right back. So he should be playing his preferred position. Oh, man. <clears throat> That's tough. I thought we had a chance we were up 2-0, but we just conceded. I thought Milik scored that for a second there. Look at that. What a chip. But it just went wider than that. Man, come on. I want to see the third goal. I want to get a dub. Jesus, man. Oh, I truly thought for a second right there would it was going to be a goal for Poland. But my hope just sailed wide of the net. And that's the game, guys. Poland and Chile draw 2-2. Poland's defense in this game was absolutely horrendous. Poland really need to work on their defense because Chile didn't have any of their star players and our defense still made them look good. So Poland need to fix their defense if they're going to even have a chance at competing in the World Cup. So anyways, guys, uh, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the video, and turn on notifications.